What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's second video. In today's second video, we're gonna take a look at Cardano. We're gonna take a look at two daily charts, a weekly chart and the Cardano Bitcoin pair to see if we can find any clues on what is gonna happen next for Cardano. So let's jump straight on here to the daily chart. You guys can see, we've been talking about this um, ascending triangle uh, since really like uh, like a couple weeks ago, really to a couple months ago, right? This, this has been forming since February 22nd. And we are now poking our head back into that uh, ascending triangle. You guys can see, uh, back here, we were making higher lows, higher lows. And then obviously, Bitcoin had its big dump. We dropped below it. But now we are back into that ascending triangle, which is bon appetit, right? And as you guys can see, we are not only are we back in the ascending triangle, but we actually broke up back above our 20 day moving average, which is definitely medium term bullish, right? That, that shows us that we're going back into that bullish trend. Um, so I, what I do expect here in the short term is I do expect us to probably go back up and at least retest the top of the ascending triangle, which currently like it sits right at about like 147 to 150. If you wanna count the wicks, I'd say probably it's more 147 if you connect with two wicks and your candle body closes from, from right here. So um, that's where I expect Cardano to go up to. I expect it to come up and retest this level. Now we'll see if it breaks it. If it doesn't, you probably come back down and retest the bottom of the ascending triangle. Um, but if you can break it, we'll take a look at what our measure move target is. Um, we've, we've been talking about this measure move target forever. You take your uh, top to your bottom here and you extrapolate this at your breakout point. That would give you an approximate target for uh, Cardano of about 202, right? We've been talking about this breakout target forever. Hopefully this is the time that eventually does break out. We do have room to run in our daily uh, RSI here as our daily RSI sits at about 55. So we do have room to run to the upside. Now switching on over to our next chart here for Cardano. Uh, this is our weekly R. Actually, this is our weekly stock RSI, and you can see we are, um, you know, at our, our lowest point on the weekly stock RSI that we were in uh, during this long consolidation over here for Cardano. You guys can see right here we got down to the uh, oversold on the stock RSI. Right now we're currently sitting at that oversold in the stock RSI, but we are starting to actually uh, turn up here, which is really good. You guys can see this was the, also the second to last time and right here. So this marked the last two bottoms for Cardano absolutely perfectly. And we, like I said, we are at that oversold territory once again on the stock RSI here. So I am expecting this um, to catapult us back up to the upside, okay? Um, it, it, this stock RSI is usually pretty damn good at, at kind of marking where our bottoms are. You can stay in, in the oversold territory for a little, for a while, right? You can stay in it for a couple months, but generally speaking, it does it does relatively mark your bottom. At least in a bull market, it usually tells you when you're going to reverse. So I do expect you to reverse here for the upside for Cardano. Now switching over to this weekly chart, um, you guys can see that we've been pretty much getting rejected at the top of our ascending triangle we're currently in. We've pretty much been rejected at our all-time highs. You can see our one Fibonacci here, which is basically our all-time highs from January 1st, 2018. Um, you can see here we've been rejected at it right now and we're right at that level as we speak right now. Um, we're firmly, we firmly on this dip held our 10 week moving average, which is our yellow line here. We firmly held that, which is pretty friggin' bullish guys. And we didn't even wanna come back down to that 20 week. That's how bullish Cardano is. We're getting a nice bounce off that 10 week and now we should go on to our next target, which is our 1.618 Fibonacci at about $2.09 up here, right? So. Uh, that that should be pretty good. Obviously, we can take a look at our next one, which is about 3:43. When the time comes, but, but let's let's be realistic here. Let's focus on getting to two dollars first, and then focus on our next levels up top. But two dollars nine cents um, has a pretty good confluence, not perfect, with our measure move target here that puts us right at two dollars and three cents. So a lot of things pointing to two dollars, right around that two dollar dollar level as our next target there for Cardano. Obviously, it's psychological resistance too. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, switching over to the last thing I wanted to look at here for Cardano is the Cardano Bitcoin pair. Um, you guys uh, can see that we were been in an ascending triangle also for the Cardano Bitcoin pair. And it looks like we're starting to poke our little head over that uh, top of our ascending triangle here for Cardano. Now, our breakout target for this Cardano Bitcoin pair if we take the top of our bottom of this triangle and we extrapolate this to the upside, it's gonna put us right at our, our pretty close to our highs back here from February on the Cardano Bitcoin pair. Um, and that, that, that's where I do expect us to go up to on our next run up. Um, a lot of confluence at that general area looking left as well. Um, so you could be seeing if, if Bitcoin breaks out 
or sorry, if Cardano breaks out of this Cardano Bitcoin pair and catches up against Bitcoin, you'd probably uh, be better off you have your money in, in, in Cardano at the moment. Uh, you could see about a 27% increase on Cardano against Bitcoin. So Cardano looking pretty good on all fronts here. As long as we see Bitcoin not make a giant, uh, giant dump on the market, Cardano should be uh, continuing its absolute monumental run that it's been in this year. Uh, I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. Guys, if you haven't already, Make sure you guys leave a like before you go. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. And also go follow me on Instagram. Link is uh, pinned in, in the uh, description and also pinned in the top comment uh, down below. So guys, go follow me over there. Try to hit 1,000 followers. Doing a giveaway at 1,000 followers. Catch you guys in the next video or in the live stream tonight, actually. Peace out.